Hello folks, it's Senile Sergeant. Today we're going to be playing just a little bit of War Tales. Uh, the first thing I want to tell you, today's main effort, we're going to be focused on getting down to Matthias Lund. This is going to be a hard fight, so the chances of us dying is uh, is actually pretty high. So it should be an interesting day of getting there. If we get done with that and all's well, we're going to try to get some resources around the area and then maybe even move up to, uh, to take care of the squad. One thing I wanted to note for everybody is if uh, you can go down timestamps and you can move around the video. So if there's something particular that you want to focus on, let's do that. And the other thing I wanted to tell you, we're going to start pushing out some videos to help on particular things like foraging and fishing and crafting and stuff like that to, to help folks. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing started. I'm going to go ahead and move out. Looks like we've got plenty of plenty of time left until we get it. Matthias is, is right down here. I did do a couple upgrades to you guys. I'll show that to you real quick here. Let me get over here and grab this and then we'll have a second before we go into the fight uh so what i did do we went ahead and got ourselves another pony so you can see i got kind of tired of the the weight thing so we're actually pretty good right now so we got a you know 203 weight versus 120 that's nice we also went ahead as you guys probably saw in the other episodes we extended out the uh the number of folks that we have i do expect we're going to lose a couple in this fight i tried this before uh not with this not with this playthrough but with another one and uh and yeah, it, it was uh, it was definitely a good time. So it should be fun to see kind of where we land on this one. All right, well, let's get in here and see what we need to do. We also forged a little bit last time, so that's good. Oh, no. no, Matthias. Okay, so he's a level one. Supposedly, this is hard when you picked it up. You can pick this up from the end. And you want to pick it up from the end. Uh, that way you get the, the extra gold and stuff from taking care of them. Okay, elites are unique enemies who can act more than once during a round. Pay close attention to the turn order to prepare your strategy. Again, it's down here at the bottom, right? Like this is what we care about more than anything is kind of how are things gonna, <clears throat> gonna shape up. So we can see here, the first thing he's gonna do is gonna apply judgment to the nearest target. The second thing he's gonna do, he's gonna um, deals 36 damage to all units in the area and knocks them back six meters. This is one of the things that he does that that's really frustrating, but it, it happens. The good news for us, we got a couple, uh, we got a couple folks here that are tanks, so it should absorb some, but it's still going to hurt. Trust me. And then he's going to do judgment again. Then he's going to do knockback. So we're going to need to make sure that we position everybody the right way here to get full potential for what is needed. Okay, so let's push Eleanor up here. Got him here. Um. I don't want any of these dudes in the way. I think that's everybody, right? Okay, Bo's back. Dog's back. We're going to push the dogs back. I don't want them anywhere near the front. Okay, so we've got four tanks basically right here. They're going to go in. And you can see kind of where they are. Now, uh, Hewitt is 32 and 24. 22, 26, 22, 34, and 40. So Manny seems to have the best option. You can also see that we're in mud right off the bat. So if I click here, I can see that mud is probably going to be a problem. So it's probably a good idea to kind of spin that around. We do want to surround him on multiple sides. One thing to know about this, though, his swing is kind of like a like that U shape. I think it's a 180. So th this may not go well, but that's OK. Let's move them there. Actually, I don't want him even targeted at all. OK spin this fight just a little bit okay so i think manny's gonna be the first one uh to go in sorry manny you get to be the guy <laughs> all right we're gonna go ahead we're gonna slice and dice so 44 we're probably gonna try to do some deflection that way we can try to lessen the amount of damage that we're gonna get i could the other thing i could do is it looks like i could probably run away as well so I, I don't think, I don't know that that's a good idea. We're going to, I guess we'll take it and see what happens. Okay. So he put judgment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the back side now because I don't want to be on the front side. He does not do a front. There we go. There that is. And then let's hit here. Yeah. If I remember right, he's not going to, he's going to only be able to do 180. So that's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see how this works. Okay, and then we're going to do damage reduction by 50%. There we go. <clears throat> we're going to do the 70%. We're actually going to do deflection. Okay, now he's going to hit this time. Oh, he did it. 
You some a biscuit. Okay, so we're definitely gonna get bopped. Real nice. We'll pull him in. Let's go ahead and throw that down. And then we're gonna go ahead and back him back up. He's gonna hit both of them. Woo! Look at that. That is ruthless. Okay, so one thing I did do is I went ahead and I got the axe throws. That's one thing I forgot to kind of mention. I can't show you in here, but you remember I was talking about the, the second slot you could put axes in. We actually did that prior to, I knew this fight was probably going to happen. So the best thing I could do is come in here. Now, the only problem is if I come in here and I hit, there's a good chance that I'm going to be in combat, but we'll be okay. So let's sneak up behind. Let's throw this. Got a little bit of damage. We're going to frenzy. And then we're going to poison. See, he took that down pretty well. And then we're going to back him up. Okay, good. So the good news is he went ahead and got on our boy there. Bad news is he's on our boy there. All right, let's move it over a little bit. Okay, we're going to hit here. We're on the back side. That's good. Hit him on the back again. And then let's move him away. Now, this is probably going to be a back hit here, I suspect. Let's see. Yeah, so that's 38 because he hit me on the back. 38. Wow. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to sneak up. Let's go ahead and throw the axe. Barely did any damage. We'll do spin, some more poison, and then we're going to back away again. Let's hope that he does not come. He's going to kill them if he hits them. So we're going to know in a second where he's going. Okay, good. He went down here. So good news is I can take like a hit and be okay. I can't take multiple hits. Okay, there we go. That's easy there. We're going to go ahead and again, throw that Do a circle. We got him close now. Okay, yeah. He's screwed. Dog will come in. Should finish him. This should be it. Nope. Maybe not. Dang. I was hoping. I have my breath holding. Okay. Let's move him. Let's move him right there. Let's see if we can not hit our guys. Bam. Yes. Okay. That's actually much better than before when I did this because I was... I think before the issue is I just did it too early. So we've actually got uh, Lucila. So two-handed morning star with a handle wrapped in human skin. Who did it belong to? So that thing is a strength of plus five. So we could actually give it to a character. Only thing I've noticed with using those is you obviously don't have a shield. And we got what, three people here with broken, broken armor. So we did use a pretty good amount of armor. We only got about 13 left. So not bad. That's actually a really good fight good news is is we got one of the quests done that we needed to do so that that's actually a good one so i think moving away is actually a really good strategy associated with uh with this one all right we're gonna go up into this little town here i need to turn in i think i forgot so if you look here looks like i forgot to turn something in up here so we're just gonna come up here real quick and just see what that was come on you can get around it come on you know how to climb so we'll see if we can't go in here and figure out what was missing. And then I think we should have time on this episode to go ahead and go over and fight these other guys real quick. Okay, what who do we have here? I guess we gotta talk to each one. We sell all our surplus to help with the cost of rebuilding this ruin. Um, I don't see anything here I need. I don't need no sandstone or anything. That's fine. Rumor has it that you would rather defend fairy tale creatures than help the <laughs> refugees. That's exactly right, dude. Fairy tales. We are trying to rebuild a village from scratch. We've got more than enough farmers, but we are in dire need of skilled craftspeople. If you okay, yeah, I don't. I, I, I must have I missed something. Bertram to bring me everything I need to sew warm. Yeah, we've we've missed something. I think we missed something at the camp. I know that Fergus and the others are doing their best, but let's face it. Okay, let's grab that hemp. Let's make sure we got that. I don't think there's anything else here that we can grab. Which is fine. Oh, we do have... Uh, let's go up here and let's pick this lock. 
Okay. Up oh, here we go. There it is. Bam. Man, I'm getting good at those, huh? Of course, they're probably super easy. Okay, this is a prayer book. It's dedicated to the eye. Very okay, That's a trinket of some sort. I don't know that we'll be able to use that trinket, but okay. I think that's it. All right, let's go ahead and exit here. Where was that other? Yeah. I mean, I say we go ahead and go up in here. There, there is a chance. Where are we sitting right now? I think we are, we're not doing too bad. I've got enough repair items that, you know, should we need it, that will be okay. Like if we get in a fight or something up here, because there are guys that patrol this ledge. You'll see them probably up here. As I'm walking, they'll kind of be off to the half left. Usually walking in the woods over there. Yeah, I don't see them right now. Yeah, they're usually over there. And then the other guys that we're supposed to be fighting, I think, are down here on this other end. So maybe we'll get over here. We'll knock these guys out. That'll open up the, the map just a little bit more. I, I like to, you know, you, you could progress through the game a little bit faster. Here they are right here. Yeah, these guys right here. Uh, you can progress through the game a little bit sent from faster Andar to rid the northern forest of its plague rat infestation oh boy uh but i prefer to kind of keep it slow and clear one entire area and then move on but obviously do as you like however we are also looking for an infected man apparently stromcap cast him out uh, okay well we don't have to do anything here that's that's nice so they are they're nice okay here we go now these people right here, we're going to get in a fight. Now these are two handers. So we're going to, we're definitely going to have, okay. And this is the vanquish. So this is the other squad I needed to fight. Okay. So these guys are going to have two handed weapons. That's going to make this a little bit more interesting of a fight. So we're going to need to make sure that we have the right people in the right spots. So you can already tell. So again, let's go back. Let's find, oh, we've got two different sections here of people. Okay. Eleanor, where's my main man? Margie. Okay. Freddy's in a good spot. Hewitt is good. He'll go right here because he's going to go in. Okay. You've got another guy here. So you looks like you've got two. So we've got two shield. We've got a shield and a normal guy. Okay. Here, here's Manny right here. Okay. Manny and this guy need to switch. Because he needs to go straight in on this guy. We'll bring Hank up. I really don't want this dog to... Okay, there we go. Okay, and let's look at this side over here. Okay, we got the, the two-hander right there. That's a crappy weapon. Let's switch these two. Just because that's a much better weapon than what uh, Lucille... Looks like Lucille still... I don't know why Lucille still got a <clears throat> club. So that's something we got to fix. <laughs> it's just... Seals walking around the club. Oh, great. Okay, and these two are going to be bad over here. So I think we're going to move two up. We're also going to put the wolf right here. Now, my only fear is down here. So I've got to lock these guys in. So I've got to lock him in. I've got to lock him in. And then I may need to come down like this. There you go. So there, there we go. So lock him, lock him, and then lock him in. And then that should give us pretty good. And then basically the wolves should be able to clean up that side. And then of course we've got the, the bow. Let me check, make sure there's nothing else around. I don't think there's anybody else. Okay. Let's see who's going to hit first. Who's our first hitter. He is up here. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And then where's the, the next one? Yeah. I like to try to go in order if I can. So let's just go in that order. I like to hit them first before they hit me. Okay, let's go here. We're going to move him up. Let's go ahead and spin. Spin to win, baby. All right, he'll hit back. That hurt. Not, I don't, I don't know who did more damage there. Good news is I've got a little more health than he does, so. Okay, I think the second guy is down here, correct? It is, okay. So we're going to... Take him up. Now this one, I'm going to get the axe throw in. And then I'm also going to get the poisoning. Well, that dude's a little bit dangerous right there. Okay, who's next? 
Okay, next one's on the other side. Okay, he's going to hit back. Uh, not bad. All right. Next one is here. So he's the same kind of uh, same kind of guy. So we're going to push him up. Spin to win. Good to go. All right, he'll hit back. Yeah, so we're about even there. I should outlast him as long as I don't jack this up. Okay, so next is the raider. Oop. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to come up. Now, the problem is I have no valor points. So normally what I would do in here is I would basically... Wow, well, now I do have... So that this is one thing to use on these guys is that when they attack, that they get a valor point. Because now I can look down here and I can say, okay, hey, what do I want to do? Uh, and for this, I probably... <clears throat> We're going to do the deflection for the next round. It's not going to be this round. It'll be for the next round. Okay. And he'll... Okay, he's set. Okay, we've got there. We're going to pull up. Let's go to the back side. Nice. Okay, well, he's not even going to get an opportunity to do anything. Okay, nice. Well done. Okay, who's the next attacker? Okay, top guy up here. We're going to pull down. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I did not add on that one. Not a big deal. Okay, these two are going to be fighting for a little bit. Same thing here. Nice. Okay. Same thing on this one. I think what I'm going to do... Let's go ahead and do deflection for the next round. Should we get there? I probably didn't have to use it, but just in case. Okay, Wolf should go in on this one. I don't know why he went there. Uh, let's go right here and see if I can hit that guy. I cannot. Probably. Oh, I can. This is scary. 18, 18, 64. Okay, there's a chance I hit my my own guy. Okay, I didn't. Whew. That was good. <clears throat> okay, so target's happening. New round has started. We want to go ahead and we want to try to get these guys out of the way over here. Who's first hit? Okay, that guy right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and move him up. Let's do right about there. Because I am spinning, so I don't want to hit my own guy. He's complete. Okay. Who's the next guy now? Okay, down here. He's going to be done. That was easy. All right, who's that guy? That guy right here looks like to be, okay, this top guy up here. Right? I think it's that, that guy, yep. Okay, we are gonna use, we're gonna use our normal skill first. See how far we get. Okay, yep, we definitely need to do it. We'll just go ahead and end him. I could have, again, could have saved it. No reason to save it, but absolutely could have. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, we got this top guy up here in the top corner. Hit him once. And then we're going to deflect. Just in case. Okay. Not bad. Okay, this is our main hitter right here. So we're going to hit. Okay, we're good. We got him nice and dandy. Good, good, good. All right, so basically all we have left then are the two guys on the other side. So I don't think I, I really could just skip all these guys. There we go. Perfect. All right. Well, that was good. So we got those two done. Looks like we got a pretty good amount. So we got amazing hairbrush. The boar bristle used to make this brush leaves your hair soft and silky. Exactly what doctor ordered. We got a champion uh, statuette. We got some cloth. Looks like we got a corporal's 
Roundel. Uh, that's pretty good. So guard 13, armor 7. Got a little bit of cash. We've got, what, four people? So repair all. So we're going to need to get make sure that we're getting enough of the, uh, the raw materials here we're getting. Now we have two people that we need to go ahead and upgrade. So let's go ahead and hit the C button. Before we do anything here, because we're getting close, let's go ahead and uh, put our folks down. Give them a little nighty night. Oh, I also don't think I can. Can I put two in here? Oh, you can. So I didn't realize that you could put, looks like two in here. So it's 204 right now. I put the horse in here. So I guess you can put what? Yeah, two, two total. Nice. Okay, so it goes 214. <clears throat> okay, so let's use this. We need one alcohol. We need three regular meat. Here's the uh, here's the the medium rare mutton that we talked about earlier, or we did in last episode. So now this is six. This isn't too heavy, so I'm not going to use all of that. What I'm looking for is the heavy stuff, right? So this one's this one's a little bit heavy. Yeah, we probably could get rid of this uh, venison. Small chunks of wild game. In fact, let's. Three, four. Let's do that. Okay, now we need 39. We'll do... Let's do the mutton. Might as well get that. 35. And then we need twos. There we go. There's 39. Alright. Let's rest up. We're going to go ahead and get our two characters up. So we got some companion assigns the campfire. We got plus two, plus one for food. Everybody's happy and we got some more uh, raw materials. All right, let's go ahead and look at our guys here. Eugene, first guy, looking pretty good. So what I was showing you is that you can take, I don't, did I put the, I think I used the axis. Yeah, I did. Okay, again, I can't show you because I don't think I can make them. I have to be at the, yeah, I have to be at the shop. But basically what I was talking about is in this slot here, one beside the armor, you actually have the ability to put, if you get like a hatchet or whatever the case may be. Um, and that gives you an extra I have an extra thing in it. And if you, it looks like if you leave it in your inventory, it actually pulls it. So I had one extra axe. So it gave me the ability to, to use that. Okay, we're going to increase the dexterity. This is all about damage at this point. We like damage. Damage is A okay. And then we got Lucille. Lucille is somebody, though, that we need to fix her weapon. So we're going to, we're going to craft in between this episode and the next one to see exactly what we need to get her because that, that's horrible right there. I can't believe I'm even walking around with that. So Constitution willpower or critical hit we're going to increase our critical hit because we're going to get the two okay got everybody kind of in the spots they need to be all right let's go ahead and head down let's head down to <clears throat> the main areas down here and while we're walking down we'll grab some stuff hopefully i don't get sucked in by fog fog is bad knowing my luck we'll probably get some on the way down there we need to get ore and stuff as we're walking as well. So as you're out doing your, doing the stuff you do, if you see ore and stuff, j just pick it up. You're going to need it. The other thing is all of the caves and stuff that you're going into that you'll get the ore out of. Remember, I think that they're, uh, the timers on those are about an hour in game or an hour in real life, I guess you could say. So you have the ability to go back and, uh, and see those locations and then mine that ore. And you want that stuff because you obviously need it to, to craft. And it looks like everything comes back on the map too. Sometimes in different locations, it's not all the same. I think as much as I've played this game now, each time that I've played, it's all kind of been in different areas each time, which is actually pretty good. Okay, so let's roll in here real quick. Okay, so the, the things we need to do, let's go to the end first. So you can see highlighted that's telling us that we have something to turn in here. Might she be looking for work? Our role as emissaries is to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled. We regularly update our job offers. Okay, so for here, we got, look at that, 390 gold. And then we got 210 gold for vanquishing the, the squad. So reward. we're over 1,000 for the first time. Uh, we got close before. We got 800. Then I went and bought uh, another pony just to kind of help us out. So that's pretty good. Let's review and see if there's anything else in here. We do have a couple. So we've got another two easies. Let's just grab those. May work, start working on those and that should be good. So now we've got kind of three locations now that we need to go to, to, to continue to kind of clear the map, which is perfectly fine. We also have another person in here. So we'll just look and see. So 
looks like this person's actually uh, got a one-hander. We could, we could take this person if we wanted to. It's going to bump our consumption up. Wages are not, wages are kind of high for this, this one. So you figure 13. I, I don't think it's like horrible, but I mean, that is definitely some, uh, that is definitely some, something to consider when you're looking at these. I do think having another person would be good. Adventure calls. So 140 and then 252 just to recruit and no, thank you. So you see how quickly he ruined it. To come back often. Well, there's always folk looking for work around here. Okay, so we're good here. We need to make sure you always want to make sure that you come in to the forge area. You can use my anvil. Let's grab these. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith. If you happen to know one. Okay, we're going to keep this. Let's see if we can, I think. Can we? It's 49. Yep, let's go ahead and grab. Let's grab the, the iron that he had there. It's better not having anything. Let's leave him for a second. Okay, let's see if we can make a sword of some sort. I don't think so. No. What are we missing? We're missing wood and leather. That, that's fine. You can press C inside of that menu right there to take you to your camp, by the way. Oh, so let's... Oh, how about if you left click or right click? Sorry. Okay, there we go. And then just press C again to come out of that menu. Okay, so now we can go ahead and get the sword. So we've got iron ore, wood, leather. Let's go ahead and forge. There we go. There we go. Come on. Give me something nice. Give daddy something nice. Okay, so we got so it went from strength four to strength seven. And we also have the slice skill on this. So we actually uh, that one's actually really nice. So we did a good job on that one. So let's go ahead and come up here. I think Lucille was our problem child for sure. Look, it's strength one right now in pound skill. So th th this is a huge upgrade for for her. Oh. So she can't so she has to have because I chose a smasher. So here, here's your first lesson is make sure you're paying attention, which I was not, obviously, to, to make sure that I understand what the, the individual needs. And I don't think I have the ability to craft what she will need. Oh, actually, I do. Uh, right here. Right? Because this is a smasher-based item. Yeah, pound skill. So, and we're missing wood. And I don't think I have an ability to get wood you in can here. Use my anvil. I can also repair okay, your so I will have to do that one off to, hire a to, to figure that one out. If you happen to know one. So basically, you know, we messed up there. I mean, we definitely did not do the right thing. Uh, what we will do until we get... So that's 14 and 8. This is 13 and 7. Let's just look at everybody that has 13 and 7 with protection skill. So this one doesn't even have protection skill on it. Let's just make sure 13. So that one's not. So these are the ones I made. So the ones I made were actually better than. So this is why crafting is so much better in, in many ways. We are going to keep these two for a second. I am going to go out and get some wood and see if I can't fix that. That kind of that mistake that I made there. This one I think I can just get rid of actually. So we're not even going to mess around. So that's a good way to make money too. Look at us. We're already over a thousand. Uh, you do lose the resources though. So that's one thing that kind of stinks. We are going to give her back her weapon, though, because I don't want to leave this area and they get kind of jacked up. But OK, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I think the, the big part for me on this one was getting through that fight down here down south. So that's good. We got one of the elites finally finished up and then finalizing this other one. Hope you guys saw that uh, you enjoyed it. Different techniques on that one down there. I, I like going in, hitting them and then leaving and then coming back in uh, or trying to have one tank kind of hit him for a while the good news is when he hits you he knocks you back anyway so it kind of resets everything uh, if you guys like the video make sure you hit that like button thank you so much for all the support uh watching the videos and obviously liking them if you want more comment or, or more content on war tales let me know what you're looking for like i said got lots of lots more content planned to come out you guys have a wonderful day we'll see you on the next one this is senile sarge signing off